Hello, thank you so much for joining me. I'm excited to talk to you today about augmented reality for digital placemaking, public art in Clearwater, Florida. My name is Dr. Laura Harrison. I am the Director of Access 3D Lab at the University of South Florida. And the paper I'm presenting today is a collaborative effort between myself and colleagues at the Clearwater Community Redevelopment Agency, as well as the University of South Florida Advanced Visualization Center. Through the use of digital placemaking or practices that create emotional attachments to place through digital media use, downtown locales become incubators for cultural heritage communication, fostering a sense of place attachment and strengthening community engagement. This presentation details the reinvention of a public space in Clearwater, Florida with a large scale mural program. I discuss the development of an interactive augmented reality app it utilizes 3D terrestrial LIDAR scans to assist in the identification and testing of feature points within target images of the mural. This combination of multi-sensory stimuli, including physical cues in the built environment and audiovisual cues from the app, reinforce the artwork's message of community empowerment while enhancing the public perception of downtown Clearwater as a destination for art, culture, and technology. From the early cave paintings of Lascaux, France, to Michelangelo's masterwork in the Sistine Chapel, murals have served as an outward expression of a shared cultural heritage. At the pinnacle of its success, public art such as murals served to nurture participatory citizenship, creating an intellectual space for debate and sociopolitical engagement. As technological advances have shaped the evolution of the built environment, so too have the mechanisms by which murals are created and experienced. With the integration of mobile technologies such as augmented reality, murals become a new opportunity for the creation of place, allowing the viewer to re-encounter everyday space. In recent years, the boundary between the physical and digital worlds has become more fluid with the advent of smart cities, smart homes, and smart devices. This trend is likely to increase in the future with the rise of the metaverse. AR and location-based apps such as the game Pokemon Go provide an ideal platform for the creation of meaningful experiences in the urban realm, thereby turning abstract or shifting objective spaces into significant places of interaction. In this presentation, I explore how superimposing interactive computer-generated AR imagery on top of a user's view of a real-world mural contributes to digital placemaking in Clearwater, Florida. Digital placemaking is a concept that describes practices that create emotional attachments to place through digital media use. Enhancing public art with AR content helps to create a vivid, memorable, imageable space that promotes active participation and engenders an affective, emotionally resonant response in the community. The use of AR in this context creates a strong sense of place attachment that is grounded in the interactions among society, space, and digital technology. In cities that have seen significant disinvestment in their downtown cores, substantial work and investment must be focused on the public realm, including the arts and public spaces. Beyond beautification, public art can also serve as a catalyst for neighborhood revitalization by increasing attachment to place, positive perception and brand identity, which can have broader economic impacts such as increased foot traffic by residents and tourists. Efforts to revitalize Clearwater's urban core focus on placemaking as a tool for creating communities that people want to live, work and play in. This involves transforming nondescript fixed elements of the built environment, such as parking garages, crosswalks, sidewalks, and empty building walls into vibrant, memorable places. In 2018, the Clearwater Community Redevelopment Agency launched the Downtown Clearwater Mural Program in an effort to bring large scale public art projects that weave art and culture to public spaces. The initial phase of the program selected from murals from 114 artist submissions and provided artists a stipend to paint their artwork on four blank walls throughout the city. Walls were selected with proximity to the down core, downtown core in mind, with the largest mural, Comunidad, selected for a 100 foot or 33 meter long wall of a parking garage 
near the main thoroughfare of the city, Cleveland Street. This site, adjacent to a parking lot and near high-rise office towers, is highly visible to pedestrians, motorists, and office workers inside buildings. The Clearwater CRA, in partnership with the University of South Florida's Access 3D Lab and Advanced Virtualization Center, carried out a collaborative workflow to develop an AR app aimed at bringing the Comunidad mural to life. Entitled Paint the Town, a journey inside Clearwater's murals with mixed reality, the app emphasizes digital storytelling and invites the co-production of cultural heritage knowledge through community engagement with AR and public art in an urban environment. The workflow for developing the AR app encompassed creating a 3D terrestrial LiDAR scan of the mural and its environs with ferro-focused scanners, cleaning, cleaning and exporting the data set as an OBJ file, decimating the mesh, developing interactive content, and testing and tracking the user experience. Two scanners were staggered at ground level in front of the mural, while the third scanner was elevated about 30 feet off the ground on a hydraulic lift. This technique ensured homogeneous point density across the entire mural, including upper areas. The scanner profiles were all set to even weighted metering to equalize exposure of all shots throughout the 10 hour day of scanning. 3D terrestrial LIDAR scans and hundreds of photographs were used to determine the target images and locations along the mural and to assess whether the target images aligned properly with the actual mural. Tracking images were tested using Unity and checked through the Vuforia image tracking rating system. The rating system provides rankings from one star for poor or few future points to feature points to five stars for good and many feature points. Once reliable target images were created, the 3D LiDAR scans were decimated to provide quicker interaction in the Autodesk Maya software. The user experience design process was driven by superimposing interactive hotspots over the tracking images identified in the mural. Hotspot content was developed to appeal to broad audiences and emphasize telling the story of the artist, bringing the dance to life with animation and music, and offering fun facts about the artistic process, as well as triggering interactive animations meant to surprise and delight, such as paint splatters and dropping paint cans. The AR application was created using Unity, Autodesk Maya, Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and After Effects, and Vuforia. Unity and Unity Collaborate was used for the development and build of the app. Vuforia was used to detect feature points in an image and compares them to the target image seen through the user's camera, in this case, a mural. The 3D AR content was designed as cutouts of the actual mural to be superimposed over the actual mural when in AR mode. When feature points are matched with the database image points, the app loads the proper AR content at the target position. This enables the content to be called up and placed at specific points in the mural when the feature points in the database are detected. Euphoria also allows the image database to be created and man managed through a web interface. This feature enables remote collaboration and facilitates iterative testing and adjustment of target images. The final application was published using Unity to Google Play and Apple's App Store under the name Clearwater Paint the Town. Hotspot A offers factual information about the size and scale of the mural against a montage of photos of the artwork, while Hotspot B reveals the amount of paint used by artists against a brightly colored animation of falling paint buckets that gradually transform the AR image of a mural from a grayscale drawing to a vibrantly colored artwork. Hotspot C triggers audio that says, the women featured in the mural are real people. The artists use real life models for their sketches. The audio coincides with an engaging audiovisual montage of the communal dance depicted in Comunidad, in which cutouts of the women in the mural raise and touch their hands and move about in a circular fashion. Flowing paint animations and rhythmic music add to the sensation of movement, movement and dancing. 
Hotspot D triggers a two minute video montage of the artistic process behind the creation of Comunidad, including audio and video clips that highlight the artistic techniques utilized in painting the large scale artwork. These include the complex sketching process, the use of a hydraulic lift, and the decision to incorporate portraiture to ground the story in reality. Hotspot E triggers an audio recording that says, the four colorful murals in downtown Clearwater's core enrich the city's public spaces with images inspired by the city's past, present, and future. This text is uh, superimposed against a colorful animated medley of paint splatters and panoramic video shots of each of the downtown murals. Finally, Hotspot F depicts a grayscale cutout of a woman in the foreground colorizes it to match the mural and animates dancing movement against a musical background. These hotspots are not only triggers of interactivities, but triggers of affect. This project presented several unique challenges. For instance, optimizing the user experience design focused on addressing the key problem of viewing and interacting with a large mural on a small device screen by dividing the, screen, the scene into sections. In addition, enhancing the trigger image database involved testing the mobile device's camera in real time and using the app to match images to the trigger image database. Evaluating image tracking quality centered on the issue of how obstructions such as trees, bushes, cars, and variable lighting conditions impact the app's ability to accurately track the AR mural locations. Both types of images, those with obstructions and those without, had enough feature points to effectively detect and track the area. Assessing optimal viewing locations revealed that straight on views were most effective regardless of lighting conditions, weather and time of day. Of course, the COVID-19 pandemic presented unanticipated challenges as well. Lockdowns in 2020 and the cancellation of in-person events in 2021 have created challenges for testing and evaluating the app with public audiences. This is something we hope to finally be able to do in early 2022, depending on the public health, health situation. The six hotspots in the Paint the Town app allow users to self-navigate through a story that celebrates cultural diversity and depicts a network of empowered, united women who form a vibrant community. Uruguayan artists Florencia Duran and Camilo Nunez, known as Colectivo Licuado, sketched and completed the Comunidad mural in January 2019 as part of downtown Clearwater's first large-scale public art project. This AR app, which brings the mural to life, is a first not just for Clearwater, but for the Tampa Bay region. It aims to create tech-engaged public humanities programming that surprises and delights audiences by inviting them to experience art in a fresh new way. In this case, augmented reality provides additional context, animation, and engagement by supplementing the original image without distracting from the visual experience. The animations are designed to surprise and delight audiences, while the longer video montages and animated sequences add depth to the narratives of portraiture, female empowerment, dancing, and community engagement. When communities share an experience that is grounded in a built environment, such as visiting a museum, heritage site, or AR-enhanced public art installation, they contribute toward building a shared cognitive image of a place that is imbued with meaning. Increased traffic and engagement with such memorable places increase the connectivity and complexity of this shared image, which might be thought of as an imageable space. Kevin Lynch's seminal, The Image of the City, defines imageability as that quality in a physical object which gives it a high probability of evoking a strong image in any observer. It is that shape, color, or arrangement which facilitates the making of vividly identified, powerfully structured, highly useful mental images of the environment. Imageable, imageable environments invite the eye and ear to greater attention and participation. They create a sensuous grasp. This sensuous grasp is crucial in engender an affective response that builds community engagement and leads to positive societal outcomes. As Perry notes, 
Triggers of affect, such as engaging in acts of active listening, thinking through body-related themes, humor, dialogue, and legitimate decision-making, generate emotive or affective engagement with heritage sites, a reaction that might be thought of as enchantment. This sense of enchantment helps build a lasting sense of place attachment, which Oleski and Nuke define as active contact with a place, placed exploration, social relations in a place, and the experience of enjoyment related to that place. Utilizing augmented reality to enhance the imageability of heritage sites enhances place attachment by eliciting emotion, wonder, and enchantment. In recent years, cities have taken advantage of emerging technologies to help residents and visitors discover public spaces and unique community assets. For example, in the height of the Pokemon Go phenomenon, millions of players were using the game and venturing into cities and public spaces. In Philadelphia in 2017, neighborhood libraries tapped into that potential audience and created special maps for Pokemon Go players to learn about community murals and local culture raising several questions and opportunities for ways that cities can utilize emerging platforms to foster civic engagement. Applying similar approaches to public art offers an opportunity to diversify placemaking, providing unique and unexpected ways for residents and visitors alike to engage with murals in downtown spaces. In downtown Clearwater, these practices could help convey a message that the city is a hub for art and technology while increasing its viability as a destination to live, work, and play. The Paint the Town AR app offers an opportunity to help diversify downtown Clearwater's audiences and bring new visitors to the area. Public events will focus on awareness and training, utilizing existing partnerships and key groups and organizations within the community, such as the Clearwater Arts Alliance and Creative Pinellas to tap into existing audiences. To assess the success of this AR application, we plan to work together with the city of Clearwater to collect feedback from public audiences and civic groups on their response to the AR mural in terms of user experience, including accessibility and user friendliness, and how the app shapes their perception of the city of Clearwater. Our team will focus on the role of demographics and technological self-efficacy on the user experience in order to address the broader challenge of technological literacy, particularly among an aging population. A key goal for the CRA is to help change the perception of downtown Clearwater from a neighborhood that is sleepy, vacant, and blighted to one that is vibrant, engaging, and welcoming, as well as to increase foot traffic in downtown through ongoing programs and initiatives, including unique and high quality arts experience that, that sorry, experiences that encourage visitors. Paint the Town adds another layer of depth to the CRA's mural program. Augmented reality provides an opportunity for residents and visitors to experience art in unexpected ways. As AR moves from an emerging platform to standard practice in the coming years, governments, artists, cultural institutions, and civil society groups should seize the moment to create new arts and placemaking experiences. Thank you.